Hi, let's consider a service provider case. They support a large and varying base of customers with constant configuration changes and hardware and software upgrades. Periodic network validation and audits become a necessity. The service providers need a fast and reliable reusable automation framework and along with the need to do this without much programming experience. Introducing JSnappy from Juniper Networks, a tool that helps you manage your network with ease. JSnappy is a Python-based tool that uses simple YAML files for configuration and execution. It's easy to integrate with other tools in the network. For this demo, we have installed JSnappy on a Linux terminal. First, we will go through the JSnappy configuration files. We will see the minimum configuration required on the Juniper devices. Next, we will take some device snapshots, run validations on configuration, security certificates, and routes. Finally, we will see the results of successful and unsuccessful validations and additional features packed with JSnappy. Let's switch to the demo now. On this Linux host, we have installed JSnappy from the Git repository. Default path for installation is slash etc slash JSnappy. JSnappy.cfg is a simple configuration file that points out the location of the test files and the snapshots. Let's see the required configuration on the routers to work with JSnappy. JSnappy connects to the routers using netconf ssh. This is configured on both the routers for demo. Let's see how to take a snapshot of all the devices in the network. In the test files directory, we have three files, a test config, a device list, and a test case file. The test config file points to the device list and the tests to be executed on those devices. The devices.yaml file lists the devices and the user credentials. We can also group the devices. For this demo, we are using the group MX from this file. The test case snap YAML file lists the actual actions or snapshots to be taken. Here we will take a configuration snapshot of each device. There are no existing snapshots in the snapshot directory. To take a snapshot, we run JSnappy with the option snap with a tag, say snap1 and the test config file. The action is taken on each device in the device list. The snapshots directory has all the snapshots with the device name and tag. Next, let's see how to validate a certain configuration across all the devices. In the test file directory, we begin with the config file, the device list and the test case file. The test case file is written to gather a command output from the device and validate certain conditions. First, we check whether the configuration for a security certificate with name cert is available. Next, we verify that the services contain Telnet in the configuration. Here is a list of other operators for validation. The snap check operation works by taking a temporary snapshot and validating all the conditions in the test. We use the option snap check and the config file.
the router A complies with all the checks and the two tests have passed. It contains Telnet and the certificate configured is equal to CERT. The router B has some problems though. It does not contain Telnet in the services and the required certificate is missing. JSnappy took a temporary snapshot for each action in the snapshots directory and validated the conditions. Let's fix the problems on router B. Let's set the missing system service telnet. Also, let's delete the bad certificate in the configuration. Let's configure the right certificate. Let's commit the configuration. Running the snap check again confirms everything is in order. Next, let's see how easy it is to identify the changes in the device configurations over time or against a custom template. We have some old snapshots or custom templates for each device in the snapshots directory. We begin with the config and the test case file, which will help us collect the same snapshot. Let's use the snap option to gather the new snapshots. Once we have the old and the new snapshots, we can use the diff option to give us a very quick highlight of the deleted or modified configuration. Looks like we have a missing static route in the new configuration of router B. There are many more features built into JSnappy. In our previous test config files, we add configuration for an SQLite DB and email. This will create and record all execution results in SQLite database named jdemo.db. Also based on our mail configuration, we will get an email containing the results of our tests. Let's begin with an empty snapshots directory and run a snap check. Here is the SQLite database. Here is a sample email of the results from JSnappy. That's JSnappy from Juniper Networks, making network management easy.